everybody. Welcome back to the next episode of The Last Boy Scouts on YouTube. I'm coming to you from Morro Bay, California, and we're here camping with the family. But I, while I'm here, wanted to show you guys something awesome. Uh, a few episodes back, we talked about water purification via filtration and sterilization. Today, I wanted to show you guys a method of purifying or basically taking seawater and making it okay to drink. Taking out all the salt water and hopefully a lot of the impurities and making it safe. And we are only gonna need three items. The three items I have for you are, and these could be items that just wash up on the beach. An aluminum can, plastic bottle and something every outdoorsman, survivalist, man, woman, child should have with them when they're in a scenario where they don't know what's going to happen. It's a pocket knife. All right, so stay tuned. Check it out. seawater and as a result it will push out all the liquid in your body the water in your body much faster drinking seawater will actually accelerate the dehydration process and thus leading to your demise so if you're wondering why that's why so I realize all that background noise and everything this is not the prime spot for filming this video However, sometimes we just have to uh, improvise, adapt, and overcome uh, all the obstacles. We're here at the Morro Dunes uh, Park. There's lots of families, kids, people moving their trailers and whatnot. So we're just going to deal with it and roll along. All right, everybody. So step one, what we're going to do is we're going to take our aluminum can of whatever size that you have available to you. If you got a big size, then that's better. But we're just going to take the top portion off of this here can. That'll be step one. Step two, we're going to take your plastic bottle and I've seen many different methods of using different size plastic bottles and there's actually a way where you can take the plastic after you cut it off, fold it up underneath and wedge 
your aluminum can there so that way when the sun causes all the vapors to come up and your gases and your vapors or whatnot and it starts to condense or cause condensation on the top of your plastic it will basically drift down into like a little funnel but we're going to try something different here so basically what i'm going to do is i'm going to cut this middle portion and i'll show you just a different way of doing that I could experiment around with it, but plastic melts, maybe you can take your lighter or a fire source and, and try creating some sort of a seal around the edge. Maybe this is a one-time thing, I don't know. I wouldn't maybe do it because you're gonna try and use this multiple times if you're in a survival scenario, I don't know. But that's one thing that you can do or just maybe taking some of this portion right here off and you can use it to help form a seal as well. Uh, another important thing is, is when you're in a survival situation, um, waste not. Any excess items that you have, you may wanna hang on to. First and foremost, you're definitely not wanna gonna discard this cap. You're gonna wanna keep it, because this is what's gonna keep everything sealed inside so that the heat can do its job, right? Secondly, do not discard this. You can make some awesome fishing tackle just from aluminum, especially this portion right here. You can make an awesome bushcraft fishing hook just from this. And in a later video, I'm gonna show you exactly how to do that and a couple other awesome little bushcraft things that you can do with stuff that you might consider as trash. So stay tuned for that. I've been humming a high note Maybe something that I wrote Sailing in my boat. I'm no word of caution. Be careful when you do any of these crafts, bushcraft things, inventions, so on and so forth. Be careful with whatever tools that you're using, that when you're done with it, not only you have accountability for it, but it's safely put away, as well as some of these things have really sharp jagged edges. Be very careful. I would even recommend uh, if you have them available to you to use some sort of protective glove so that way your uh, paws don't get all sliced and chopped up. That's just one more injury that you don't need bothering you or bogging you down when you're in a survival situation. <laughs>
storm Take me away from the 